From an end user perspective, you can use a variety of client side tools to self service provision yourself cloud resources. When I say that, these, uh, these client tools could be command line driven tools, they could be uh, uh, hosted web services, you know, so that you have a web based graphical interface mm. to request for cloud resources. Some of them are on premise tools as well, so you have a management tool and the cloud totally within your firewall. Right. Uh, instead of having to go through a hosted service which is hosted outside your firewall. So one such on-premise graphical UI is uh, Elastic Fox. You know, it's a small plug into your Firefox browser. It was originally distributed by Amazon for enabling its users to obtain a graphical UI-based interface to manage the uh, EC2 cloud. And because of the interface compatibility, you can use exactly the same tool uh, and manage your on-premise eucalyptus cloud. Right. So for example, you can view all of your images. You can simply choose on an image, uh, click on the launch button, you know, choose your virtual machine type. Uh, you can choose your cluster and simply click on the launch button. There you go. What we just did was using Elastic Fox, we are spinning up virtual machines on a VMware based environment and that's being displayed in this you know, instances tab saying Eucalyptus is uh, instantiated this instance. Uh, the, this, here is the instance ID and the state is still pending. It already assigned an IP address, so once the in a couple of minutes it's going to be up and running, and you can access this virtual machine just like uh, you would any other virtual machine. You can view your images, key pairs, your security groups, elastic IPs, volumes and snapshots. So RightScale is another example of a hosted service. You can you know add more clouds. You can manage multiple clouds. You can manage your Eucalyptus cloud, your Amazon AWS cloud, all with the same dashboard. Uh, you can uh, view your images, you can view your instances, your SSH keys, IP addresses, very similar to the one that we saw on Hybrid Fox, except that uh, RightScale also provides certain additional capabilities like server templates, monitoring, uh, application clusters. You, you can deploy a cluster on a Eucalyptus cloud on a click of a mouse button. And, and again, the point is because you guys are Amazon compatible, as it were, you can use tools that you would be using with Amazon. That's absolutely right. Just, just to add to that same point, you know, Instratus is yet another tool that exists in the Amazon ecosystem. Provides uh, you know billing capabilities. You can define roles. You can view all your images. You can view all your instances in your Eucalyptus cloud. And with the same tool, you can simply switch to an Amazon AWS cloud as well. So that's a classic way of right. you know, managing multiple uh, a hybrid cloud, a public and a private cloud, to the same dashboard. That was a very quick overview of uh, uh, an on-premise uh, private cloud with Eucalyptus and how you can manage multiple hypervisor environments. We have set up a small Eucalyptus cloud right here, which is sitting underneath this desk, uh, with a couple of laptops running ESX, VMware-based hypervisor environment. I can give you a very quick, you know, probably a one or two minute overview of how to quickly spin up a virtual machine on your VMware-based environment yeah, to yeah. Eucalyptus. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll switch over to the other screen and check Thank that you. out. So what you see here on the screen um, is an interface to your, to your cloud. So this is a yet another command line driven access or the self-service provisioning tool that end users could use to request for cloud resources. And it's called the Yuka tool. So I'm going to use the Yuka tools to demonstrate certain capabilities of Eucalyptus on how you can quickly launch virtual machines and obtain access to these virtual machines in a VMware-based environment through the self-service provisioning portal. A couple of things. As an administrator, uh, you will be able to query the cloud and view all of the cloud resources. You can describe availability zones. Verbos would actually display all of the cloud resources that exist in your cloud. For example, the virtual machines, the amount of number of virtual machines you have free, the maximum capacity of the cloud. And this one is a pretty small cloud because this is a, based on a two laptop sitting underneath the desk. Uh, but essentially, on, on this cloud, you can run four virtual machines at the max of m1.small type. What I'm gonna, now going to demonstrate is how we can use uh, any client tool that exists in the Amazon ecosystem and use it with Eucalyptus to instantiate a virtual machine on your VMware-based environment. And on the top portion of the screen here is a, a view into your ESX-based environment through a vSphere client. So what I'm now going to do is uh, look at my image catalog, which is to say you can describe images. And I see that we have a, a single CentOS image uploaded as part of the image catalog. And I'm going to use this image and do a Yuka run command, which is essentially spinning up a virtual machine based on a particular EMI. All right. So what we just did was using a client tool, you know, we saw Hybrid Fox, 
that was another client side tool. This Yuka tools is yet another client side tool, as I just mentioned. So you can use the same tool set uh, and spin up a virtual machine, and we can start okay. observing that on the ESX machine, we have started spinning up uh, a eucalyptus instance. Right. And in uh, just a couple of minutes, it's going to be up and running, and uh, it's available for use for the end user. And I can view the status by doing a Euclid describe instances. There it is. We had one virtual machine which was running, the other one is in the pending state. It's in the pending state, and you can also monitor the status here. In a couple of minutes, it's going to be up and running. All right, right. There you go. So it, it, it's like uh, you guys integrate with a bunch of different platforms, <laughs> that, <laughs> essentially, in tools. So that's, that is uh, right. And that's one of the advantages of having an easy to compatible interface. So you can overlay all of the different tools, like the service cataloging, monitoring, chargeback, billing systems on top of your existing VMware environment via Eucalyptus. Right. Well, that's great. Well, uh, thanks for showing us all that.